can the Steam Deck actually cloud game? Let's get right into this. All right, fellas, so in today's video, I'm just gonna give you guys a state of cloud video for the Steam Deck to let you guys know what cloud gaming service you can actually run on this device. So to get started, Microsoft just released the ability for you to be able to play X Cloud. So with that, you can actually play Xbox Cloud Gaming. So we'll get into that real quick. So here you have seen Xbox Cloud Gaming and the cool thing here is it does have controller support, which is gonna be a big thing that I look over here. So again, this is Xbox Cloud Gaming. And as you can see, I can use my controller to navigate and I can also use my keyboard to navigate here. All right, so this is Xbox Cloud Gaming. We're gonna play a game like Halo and we're gonna get right into this and see how this performs on the Steam Deck. Again, we're using the Steam Deck controllers as you guys are seeing right here. So again, Xbox Cloud Gaming, does it work? Steam Deck. All right, so as you can see, I'm using the Steam Deck controllers and everything seems to work really well. So we're just gonna go to campaign, we're gonna continue. And yeah, so far, so good. All right, so here we go. This is Halo Infinite running on the Steam Deck through Xbox Cloud Gaming using the Steam Deck controllers. And as you can see, it's very fluid. All the buttons seems to be working like normal. So yeah, this works, this is a go. And if you guys were interested in seeing how this works, let me know in the comments below. And I can work on creating a tutorial video, which I actually already have on our Steam Deck channel. So make sure you guys check that out if you guys haven't yet. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial, let me know and I can definitely make that for you guys. But again, just want to showcase some Xbox Cloud Gaming running on here. Oof, that was bad. All right, so next we're going to check if Google Stadia works with the Xbox Cloud Gaming app. So let's get right into that. There is another way which I showcase to you guys that Google Stadia actually works. But again, you have to go through the heartache of mapping out your controller. So if that's something you guys didn't want to do, let's see if this is an easy option. All right, so it notifies our controller there. It tells us that our controller is connected. So with the Xbox app that Microsoft graciously supported us with, you can use that to play Google Stadia can see it detects the controller and we're good to go in Stadia. So this works as well. All right, so again, Destiny 2 running on the Steam Deck via the Xbox Cloud Gaming Microsoft Edge app. And as you can see, all the buttons register here and it's actually a pretty solid experience. I'll put it in par as to what you get running the Xbox Cloud Gaming app with the Microsoft Edge browser. So yeah, guys, this is uh, Google Stadia running so let me get my vehicle and we're good to go guys it's pretty cool to see you be able to cloud game now officially using these two cloud game platform google stadia and xbox cloud gaming on here for sure i don't know where i'm going but my goodness this runs so smooth and it looks really good on this 800p display all right so here you have it with the microsoft edge browser when you try to play geforce now you get this unsupported browser so you cannot use that to play let's see if we can do this real quick uh no still unsupported so you cannot use the edge browser that microsoft provided for xcloud to run gfn but this hope like i showcased in the video you can use the google chrome browser if you are okay with mapping out your button so if we go to steam if we go to a library Go to non steam and open up chrome if we hit play we can go in gfn from here and we can uh play gfn here all right so you guys will see my geforce now here and if we go to a game like dying light you guys will see i should be able to play this again if you have your bluetooth mouse uh you can just use that to play it but with this trick that i'm about to show you guys you can actually use the Steam Deck controller to play GeForce Now. Again, you might need to map some buttons, but the fact that this actually works is pretty cool. All right, here we go again. Dying Light 2 running on GeForce Now. You guys are seeing it here running, right? So again, it's pretty cool to see that you can use 
GeForce Now on this device. Again, not with your browser that Microsoft provided, but with Chrome. All right, so if you go to control settings and if you click here to get keyboard and mouse here, you'll see now it maps the uh, control of the Steam Deck. So you can use this. Let me see if I can close this out. This pop up here is really annoying. Well, I can't use that, um, which is kind of frustrating. But if we go to continue, again, this is registering like we actually are playing with a keyboard and mouse. But for some reason, the analog works. Um, so we'll take it. Not the best option. It'll be nice in video if you guys can create a solution to the Steam Deck. And this but down uh, notification here is driving me nuts. I know it's probably driving you guys nuts. But yeah, here we go. Again, using my Steam Deck controller to play Dying Light 2 on GeForce Now. Just want to show you guys that it is playable with the Steam Deck controllers. You guys have seen me move and use this to play so again it is playable and with this method also uh you can play google stadia like i showcased in the video so gfn does work with controller support with this method this is the only method i've found to be able to play gfn on the steam deck with controller support All right so we have amazon luna here let's see if it works with this google chrome method i know i can confirm 100 percent that this does not work with the microsoft uh, edge browser that microsoft provides us with so this device is not supported as you are seeing here let's continue let's see if this works guys this will be really cool actually this is my first time trying this all right so here we are controlling with the d-pad hit a b works okay so again you probably have to mess around with some mappings but the controllers work um Again, find the mapping that works for you and you can actually play Luna. Yeah, analog. So you see how this is like swinging really quickly. Again, you have to make some adjustment here. Let's do that real quick and see if we can kind of fix this controller uh, input. So if we go to customize here, um, go to edit layout. So if we go to the joystick here, so right joystick, let's see if we can mess around with some of the sensitivity and vertical scale. Again, you would have to come here and really play around with this to make it work. That's why if you can, okay, so you see it's not that bad now compared to when I first, you know, did it. Uh, yeah, so again, it works, but you got to mess around with some settings, man. Uh, but yeah, you can you can play Luna if you are really dedicated and committed and find out the button map and placement that works for you. But yeah, just want to showcase this off. This is uh, Amazon Luna running on this device. Definitely have to play around with finding the right button placement. But analog works. D-pad works, as you see right here. Um, the triggers work. So yeah, just gotta play around with this a little bit and find the right button placement. But yeah, you can use this on Amazon Luna as well. Right, fellas, so just wanna showcase the state of cloud gaming right now on Steam Deck. And I will be updating this video once uh, changes are made. For instance, if GeForce Now provides us with an official way to play uh, GeForce Now on the deck, I will make a video and update this, the same with Amazon Luna. But for right now, we know the best option for Stadium, the best option for Xbox Cloud Gaming is using the Microsoft Edge browser that they support us with. And then you can also use Stadia with the format of getting Chrome on there and then mapping out the buttons. And for GeForce Now, that is the only way that you can play that on this device. Same with Amazon Luna. The Edge browser does not work for GFN and it does not work for Amazon Luna. So that is the state of cloud gaming. They're all playable, but you have to make some adjustment to make them all work for you. All right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.